Okay. So there's a bunch of games coming out in 2016, obviously. Now, there's a lot of games I don't give a shit about. So the new Call of Duty, probably probably won't play. Probably won't. Eh. Not into it. Battlefield 1, eh. Gears of War 4, eh, maybe. On Windows 10, maybe I'll play it. Actually, I might do that. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe upgrade to Windows 10. That's not a hint or there. There are a bunch of games, and several of these I got from the Steam sale, that I think could be right up my alley, and could be contenders for somewhere in my not very prestigious game of the year list. So, starting with Oxenfree, which came out earlier in the year on Xbox, was it? And then PC. Oh, it was Xbox and PC. So, got on the Steam sale. Excited to hear what this is. It's a story based. You're making choices. You're like, there's like a ghost or something. I don't really know. Very interested in seeing what this is. This very well could be a game I'm super into, but it also just could be a game I play. Can't be worse than Firewatch, which I really want to burn in a fire. Not ironically, just because fuck that plot hole ridden disaster. Okay. Just have to get that out there. This Firewatch, mm -mm, mm -mm. think about that plot. Think about that plot. And then you start to unravel this web of horrible decisions made by every character in the game. So, uh, Hyper Light Drifter. Another game I got on the Steam sale. So I played, I, I wanted to just test the, see it a little bit. I ended up playing for about 30 minutes. Wow. This game is gorgeous and I feel very much scratches that that itch that I want with this weird 2D action game. I don't. I really want to get back to it. It's very compelling. It's very Zelda-esque with different combat mechanics. Super into it. And look at this weird, crazy art it has. That's in the opening cutscene. In the opening cutscene, I was watching. I was like, "This is fucking beautiful." And I didn't expect any of this. I was just like, weird indie fighty game. It's also made in Game Maker, which is incredible. I don't know how, people, how these people do these things. In Game Maker? Are you insane? Love it. So this, this of all the games on this list, I'm fa fairly confident this one will be on my top 10. Very much enjoy what I played. Inside. Now, this picture is compelling, I guess. But I think Limbo is very overrated. I want to play through it again, actually, uh, Limbo, and kind of poke around it, see if I like it more now, older, I don't know. So everyone's loving inside, oh, it's this great game, whatever. But they said that about Limbo, and I don't trust these, these people. I don't trust them. I guess that's just all people. Uh, because, oh, Super Hot, I do want to play Super Hot, that is true. The Super Hot's like $25, and even on the Steam sale, it was, it was like $17. I'm not play, paying that much money for Super Hot. I'm just not. So I'll pick that up at the end of the year. Maybe at the end of the year Steam sale, it'll be like $9. I'll pay $9, $10 for it. I know that's petty and stupid, but I don't have money to be buying all these games, especially Super Hot, which I'm not, which is supposed to be like a five hour thing. I'm not paying that much for it. So it's a whole conundrum. But inside, I'm suspicious of. But it could be really good. I want it to blow me away. But I don't expect it to. But it could. It could. It could. Limbo was good. The end of Limbo, I really enjoyed. So, we'll see. We'll see. No Man's Sky. Now, now that No Man's Sky has actually gone gold, I can start to become excited for it. Which is very happy news for me. And, I, and it's weird because it's been almost three years ago it was announced, two and a half ish. You should do Game of the Year 2016 under fifteen dollars. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm cheap, but if they're gonna, if you're gonna go on sale, and I don't need it right now, I'll wait. You know, like I bought Dark Souls, I didn't wait for that. I bought the season pass because I know I want it. But I'll wait for other things. I know it's going to go on sale. I'll wait. I have patience. No Man's Sky. I don't know. I don't know if I will wait. Because at this point, I am becoming interested and excited for it. I do like the idea of this world I can just sit and fly around in. Or universe. Galaxy or whatever the hell. Universe galaxy world. It. I do think this is going to disappoint a lot of people. This game. There's a lot of hype. 
this is why I haven't been hyping myself up for it at all and like not paying too much attention because why would I do that for three years? That's crazy. However, it could be something I really enjoy. Adding a little bit of combat, a little bit of gathering, and, and just going off into alien worlds, I'm super into that idea. I hope it executes on it. I, I want it to be because there's like not a lot of stuff coming out and that I'm super interested in this year for the rest of the year. I want it to be something amazing that I'm really going to love. And I mean, that's it. I really just, I, I have high hopes for it. I know what it is. You're just flying around in space. You find an alien and you're shooting them. Maybe. If they're there. Or maybe they're not there. But I love the idea of it. I love the scope of it. Again, I'm not going to pay $60. It's called Gamers Club Unlocked. 20% off. All video games. Ha ha. Ha ha will ha. Ha. Where'd my mouse go? Okay. Now Dishonored 2. I don't think Dishonored shows very well. I was not excited about Dishonored 1 when they showed it off at E3 and all these things. I played a demo of it at PAX in Dishonored 1 and didn't, and it was like, eh, okay, whatever. And I picked it up on a Steam sale a year or so later and loved it. I don't, again, I do not think Dishonored shows very well. It does not look exciting to me at all. They always show the combat. I never killed anyone in Dishonored 1. I have no interest in using that shitty combat. I don't even know if it's good. I'm just going to call it shitty. I love Dishonored 1. Dishonored 2? Sure. Totally down with. Totally there. 100%. 100%. Disheartened by what they showed and their emphasis on just killing everyone. I really like going in as a shadow and no one seeing me. That's one I want to play in a stealth game. I don't want to do all this combat shit. I don't care. I want to be in the shadows and slink and sloop around. Being able to play as two different characters, super compelling and interesting to me as well. Very, very hopeful because, like I said, not excited about the preview stuff for Dishonored 1. Loved it. Not excited about preview stuff for Dishonored 2. Hopefully. Could very well make a list. Now, will I play it this year? That's a, a, another question altogether. The Last Guardian. And also, speaking of will I play it this year, The Last Guardian is is a big question mark. If it's received super well, yeah, maybe I'll play it. If it's not, then no. There's a lot of shit going on with this game, and I'm not getting involved. I'm not giving you $45 or whatever to, to fulfill your dream of 10 years making a game. I'd really enjoyed Tower of the Colossus though, so I'm hopeful. This is tenuous at best. Though. Hopes down. Hopes down. Could be amazing. Maybe I'll red box that. That's a good idea. Last Guardian red box. Deus Ex. Ah, uh, the, the original, original, the last reboot or whatever of Deus Ex, I loved. Phenomenal game. Really interesting storytelling, some choices. Stealth, again, stealth, love it, love stealth, do it more. Now this looks like a shooting scene. It's also hard to find good pictures of this game, which is weird. But very excited, I'm intentionally not even watching anything. I have, I've seen no gameplay for this game. Don't care, don't care. But it's going to come out and I will play it, eventually. Again, you know what, maybe I should rename the stream to everything that's under $15 because I am super cheap now. Don't have money? You're gonna have to wait, game. You're gonna have to wait. Your name is not Dark Souls, I'm not buying you. Uh, Dead Rising 4, I will not wait for. And others. I love Dead Rising 4. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna upgrade to Windows 10 so I can get it when it comes out on PC. Because, as I mentioned 10 seconds ago, I love Dead Rising. I've loved all of them. I've played all of them except for Off the Record, which is like Dead Rising 2 with Frank West. I don't I really understand how that works, but I haven't played that. Loved them all. I think Dead Rising 1 with Dead Rising 3 mechanics would make the best one. This looks like they might be bringing it all together. Love the idea of it being at Christmas time. This is exciting for me. This is exciting. 
Dead Rising 4. I was hoping, speaking of other games, I was hoping to be super excited for Crackdown 3. This year. This year. Like now. Right now. Right about now. Crackdown 3. No. No Crackdown 3. Okay. Okay. So honestly, in my opinion, this the rest of this year is pretty light. In terms of games I want to buy at release, not a lot. Not a lot for me for the rest of the year. Maybe No Man's Sky, Dead Rising 4 for sure, most likely. But beyond that, eh, I could wait on a lot of these, get on a Steam sale, you know, Steam sale. Those Steam sales are really good, you know, if you're not, or like there's these other sites you can go to, not illegal, we're selling a CD key we stole off a truck in Uganda or wherever. It's in the in the Europe area, the Europe side of the world, over there. So that's it. I don't know if you can think of any other game, Will, that's under fifteen dollars, because apparently that's the only game I buy is under fifteen dollars. I think that's a, a fair thing. All those games I got on the Steam sale are all under fifteen dollars. Inside is twenty dollars. Take that, Will. Take that, you know, jerk. Under fifteen dollars. All right, we're gonna move. We can talk about anything you want, anything at all. We can talk about balloons, goldfish crackers. I think I've mentioned that before. Goldfish crackers are really good. Talk about that. Goldfish are good. Otherwise, I'll 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 call the show. There's no other um, and others. See and others and others. I don't know. I don't know. Are there are there any other games? I can't I can't think of any. I was looking at a list. I'm excited for the Bioshock collection just to see what they did for the updates for one and two. Even though it's just really going to be visual, but just to see it, just to see what it looks like, that could be super interesting. 